Okay, we are live, and this is my third try. Sometimes uh, technology does not always do well, and I think it gets confusing with Facebook Live because if it's not, if you don't think it's working, and you stop it and you delete it, then people are people are confused. So we're going to give this just a couple of minutes to actually for folks out there to figure it out. I do try and do a Facebook Live every day at 1230, but I'm not sure what was happening before. Hey, Dan, thanks for joining me. Thanks for your support and help. He let me know that the one wasn't working. So um, so we're trying this again. And uh, Lourdes, hey, got, glad to see you. I love the fact that you support me and you're so faithfully on here. I appreciate that. Great, Dan, thanks. Um, today, uh, I thought that I was going to be moving on to the next speaker that we had at the at Ray, Ray and Jessica Higdon's Prospecting and Recruiting Summit. Only I realized when I looked at my notes today that I still had more that I wanted to share from uh, Ray's, continuing on from Ray's particular training that I did yesterday. So I'm going to continue with that. And then um, Amani Zane is who we will be going into on Monday morning. And I just want you to know that this is actually the... I'm still on day one of the Prospecting and Recruiting Summit. That's how much good information that we got. If you ever have an opportunity to go to one of Ray Higdon's events, I absolutely encourage you to do it. If there's any way you can get there because you will be fed a lot of good information. So just to let you know, my name is Kay Paquetti. And you can find me at my website at kayfaketty.com. And you can email me at kayfaketty at kayfaketty.com. If you have any questions, comments, you want to connect, I would love to connect with you. So now then, I'm sure if Facebook is still building the audience, but we're going to go ahead and get started because I, I, I want to value your time. Just so you know a little bit about me, at 60 years of age, uh, I realized I had a hey Lourdes, I realized I had found a whole new passion and purpose in my life, and that purpose is showing folks, and especially baby boomers like me, because I relate to you, even though I know it's not just for baby boomers, but that no matter where you are in life, no matter what your circumstances, no matter what life has dealt you, whether good or bad, that you can be helped, you can change your current circumstances through network marketing and online marketing. And that is my main purpose now is to give people the hope that they can change whatever is going on. If you're afraid of that you don't have enough money for retirement, if you don't have the time, if you're working a, a job and you don't have the time with your family, whatever your situation is, it can be changed through network marketing if you choose to do it. I know. And if I can do it, you can do it. So let's get going. Um, the I put down four words in the title, and the four words were system, fear, courage, and hypocrite. And you're going to see how those tie together when I get more into Ray's notes. But um, the first thing, and, and I know I talked about this yesterday as far as the system, but he went into it a little bit further, and then, um, and I'm going to add a little bit more to that. But in network marketing especially, and I'm sure that, I know this is true in every business, you, when you have a business model, you need to have a system and you need to follow it. Uh, uh, McDonald's Hamburgers Company Corporation is, is one of the examples that people always give, because if you buy, if you pay however much, 500000 I don't know what it is for a franchise, but when you buy a McDonald's franchise, you actually uh, have to, no matter how much money, no matter what your business experience, you still have to go to their McDonald's University. You have to go there, you have to spend a week, and you have to learn the system. No matter where the stores are throughout the world, McDonald's, hamburgers, and I'm not I'm promoting McDonald's hamburgers, but I'm just saying, McDonald's hamburgers, they all follow the system, and that's why they've been successful, because I can go to the store in Hong Kong, and I can uh, have the hamburger cooked the same way, yada, yada, yada. It's all about the system. So when you're in a network marketing business, 
you have to follow the system. You need a system for your people. And um, sometimes we think of that as just in, in the business, we think of that as just having a way to talk to people, a way to explain, you know, what the business is and a way to, you know, ask them to get started. But it's much more than that. In network marketing, hey, Toby, how are you? Um, in network marketing, it actually is, it continues with educating the people. It continues with customer, teaching them how to do customer support, how to show them their back office, where to find further training. Prospecting, it includes all of that. All of that is part of the system of your particular company. I feel blessed because in my company, my top trainer has a, a very nice website that is open to everybody who becomes a part of the company. And he has in there, he has videos on getting started, on advanced getting started, on fast start training. So you can, if you've got bonuses in your company within the first month, on um, how to earn the trip, uh, trainings, uh, game plan trainings, which is essential for new folks because they don't know. Um, and they need to know what to do each step of the way. But not only that, the reason for a system is because then they're not dependent on you be to actually have to teach them everything. You can point them to a video. You can point them to whatever the training is for your system. I heard Eric Worre explain it once as when someone new comes into network marketing, for most of them, if they've never been in it before, it's like this fog. You're standing at the door and the door is open and there's like this fog in front of you and you can't see a thing because you have no clue. And it's scary. It's hard to step out, take a step into the fog. You, you, you don't want to do it. I, I, and I know how that feels because that's how I felt when I first started in this business. But when you have someone who is willing to take your hand and, and start walking with you, then you're able to see and the fog starts to disappear and you're able to feel more comfortable and you're able to learn and that's how you move forward. So when we bring someone new into the business, we are, first of all, we're taking their hand, but then we're able to show them with the system what they can show their people when they take their hand and what they can show their people when they take their hand. And that way we're able, it's all able to be duplicated easily and you're able to build. So those are just some of the important reasons for the, um, for, for the, having the system. Uh, let me see what else my notes say here. Oh, I, I wrote down that both, both Ray and I have heard Robert Hollis say that the best thing you can do for your team is not be the end all and do all. Uh, you don't want to be managing your team. You don't want to be hopping on the phone um, every time someone has a question. You want to be able to point them to a tool or to an answer, to a video, whatever, that you, that, so that they can then do the same thing for their teams. Uh, we tend to become the bottleneck in our in our teams when we're the manager we, we we can only grow so far when you're having to manage people but if you're a leader if you if you help them to think of it as being a business builder then if you're a business builder and you help them to think about it as being a business builder what is the business builder a business person solves problems a business by having a system by saying okay I don't need to deal with this little detail. Here is how you can deal with the detail, and here is how you can teach your people to, to, to deal with the detail. If you have 100,000 people on your team and you're trying to answer every single question, you're going to be pulling your hair out. And that's kind of the bottom line there. So the next point that he talked about was fear. And this is kind of a bullet point, and, but it also uh, kind of ties into the, the whole fog thing. But his point was... If the fear ever completely goes away, then that's when you get knocked out. And the reason for that is you, and that might not make much sense, but um, what he was saying is you always want to be challenging yourself. You always want to be moving forward. You always want to have something in front of you that gives you a little, a little tingling in your stomach as far as taking that step that a little bit of fogginess just because when you're doing that then not only are you leading your team to continue challenging themselves but um you will 
you will continue to grow. And it's it's in the tough times, it's in the scary times that we tend to grow the most and we do what we need to do to get through it. And then he said, courage is having fear, but doing it anyway. Acting in the presence of fear. For instance, doing a Facebook Live for the first time. The first time I did it, I was like, ah! But at the same time, the more I do it, the more comfortable I'm getting at it. But then I'm like challenging myself, okay, how can I do it better? How can I make it more clear for, for my audience? How can I, I, how can I share more good information with them? And so forth. And then the last thing that he talked about was don't ask your team to follow a hypocrite. That really, um, really struck me. I was like, oh, Am I doing that? Am I asking my team to follow someone that um, that when I'm not doing what I need to be doing? Am I, am I getting frustrated with my team that they're not do, that they're not growing or whatever? But meanwhile, am I growing? We need to set the example, and this is true again in any business. And a good example that 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 I can share from personal is um, is my own husband because um, he had a manufacturing business for years and when he would bring new people in he would let them know that there's nothing that he's going to ask them to do that he hasn't already done including cleaning the toilets because when you are a business owner when you're first starting out you do whatever it takes including cleaning the toilets so we have as business builders as business owners we have to set the example by us doing whatever it is that we're asking our team to do we lead by example and just know that you attract who you are so if you are building if you are out there if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing that's who you're going to attract if you're excited about it you're going to attract attract excited people and when you start, and, and this is, and I know I think I've mentioned this before too, but you come in thinking long term and you keep your word. So if you're keeping your word long term, I'm in this until, then um, you will attract people who also come in saying, okay, she's doing it, he's doing it, I'm going to do it too, and I'm going to do it until. And that's even when things are suck. So commitment is doing the things you said you do long after the mood to do it has passed. You stick to your word. It's not easy, but it's worth it. And like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. So if you are on here and you're already building an online or a network marketing business, then I hope that these I hope these notes are helping you. And I hope you'll continue to tune in and I hope that you'll that you'll share them with your team or whoever else that you want to share them with. But if you're on here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you're curious or you are actually maybe even in need and needing a way to make extra income, then I'd love to chat with you about that too and at least explain a little bit and see if it's a fit for you or not. You can reach me at kfaketty at kfaketty.com and I'd love to connect anyway. And you please go to my Facebook page, kfaketty, and like it. I've been stuck at like 299 likes for a week now. So it, I'd like to at least get it over 300, you know? So if you wouldn't mind, if you haven't already liked my page, if you wouldn't mind going there and liking it, I would really appreciate it and it would just it would give me a little um a little joy today so anyway um i just want to help as many people as i can and i appreciate you hopping on uh i hope you got value from this and i hope you have a great weekend and god bless have a wonderful rest of the day